Our last set of combination controls are both profiles. These include profile of a line and profile of a surface. We'll first look at profile of a surface, as it is the most common of the two and likely what you'll use. Profile of a surface defines a tolerance zone between two equidistant reflections of the defined surface. Essentially, if your profile of a surface TZ was 0.06 millimeters, you could take your CAD model and then create a version of it 0.03 millimeters smaller and 0.03 millimeters larger, and those would be the boundaries of your tolerance zone. Every point of your part would then need to fit within that tolerance zone. Profile of a surface is useful for parts that are not easily measured with calipers or through rotation. A way to help remember that is profile of a surface is useful for any part that needs to be ergonomic, aerodynamic, or just plain cool. For those parts, it is unlikely that simple rotation, caliper measurements, or any other callout will work. Ergonomic parts could include grips, saddles, and chair surfaces. Aerodynamic parts are plane wings, rotor blades, and any other part with an aerofoil or hydrofoil shape. Just plain cool parts are what they sound like.